everyone, it's me, QP83. And Barbie0913. And we have an interesting haul video here to show you. We went to the room sales that mm -hmm. are attached to the Chicago Toy Show mm -hmm. uh, for the first time ever. Yes, we've seen it advertised, and I just never thought they really did it. I mean, mm -hmm. how many people actually go and do it? Right, but it is actually like a thing. <laughs> um, so definitely recommend if you're in the area and you do go to the toy show, you should stop by the hotel um, where they host the room sales. Because right. room sales are fun. You could probably stay at that hotel too, get to know you more people. You could do that too, yeah, if you come in town for it. Um, but it's just for, in general for anyone that doesn't know what a room sale is, basically it's where um, people set up shop in a hotel room mm -hmm. and they say, hey, I'm open in 105 and you walk into 105 and you shop for through all their stuff. Usually their door is open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if their door is closed, you don't go yeah, in Yeah, no, there, no. But. but there's like, like there was a directory of rooms that were supposedly supposed to be open. There was. There um, was a handy dandy directory. Yeah, and oh, it was just all the here. people that were in the area selling already. Uh, so you could pick up things that may not be available at the actual uh, toy show because they were already picked up. I will say the directory was a little confusing. They had everybody, they, they get a, a, a bank of 90 rooms. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how many they had in that 90. I didn't count it on the paper. No. But it gives you the dates. Like um, it's on the 23rd, 22nd is when they set up Kane County in their rooms on all their stuff. Mm -hmm. And then people are there one day or two days before that even. So it shows you the, the bracket of time that they're supposed to be there. But then you have to have to still catch them, like not at lunch or right, not wheeling yeah. and dealing with somebody in the hall on the third floor mm -hmm. or somewhere, which didn't have anything. Yeah. No, it said that there were supposed to be rooms, according to this directory, on like the first, on all three floors. Mm, yeah, it's only, place. it's a small hotel. Yeah, so we, the first floor was actually, because we went two days in a row. Yeah. Um, we went Thursday and then Friday. Right, and Thursday most people were just getting there and it, it was a three o'clock check-in, mm -hmm. so... They hadn't gotten there yet, so there weren't a lot of rooms open. Right. So, like, the first day we went Thursday, the first floor was actually pretty pretty yeah, nicely uh, populated with mm -hmm. room sales. The second and the third floor were, like, no. dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the second day we went, the first floor was, again, pretty pretty full, and the second floor was, yeah, I mean, maybe yeah. three-fourths full. Yeah, that was pretty good. And the third floor was dead. Yeah. <laughs> So one guy told me that there wasn't anybody on the third floor, so they didn't have anybody, so okay. they must have moved them just to the first and the yeah. second. I don't so, understand the directory then. It's always fun to go into a room where you see a, a tub sitting on your right, <laughs> it's like, well, all their other stuff is there and they need a piece of wood so they could put it over the tub and have more space. <laughs> it but, is very weird. Yeah. It's, it's interesting to see the setup. But it's kind of cool if you've never done a room sale, like it's, you just kind of wander into different hotel rooms mm -hmm. and you can see what they have. And, and it's free. Yeah. It's totally free. free. Yeah. So we like free. Mm -hmm. You no don't have to stand price. in lines. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's the one nice thing. I mean, it gives you a little more one on time, one on one time with the person. Mm -hmm. Because when you go to the Kane County show, I mean, they might have this huge booth and this much space apart from you. And when you're trying to get questions answered and you're trying to look because there's people in your way and yeah. you're short. <laughs> <laughs> An actual so, issue. So yeah, so it, it's it's kind of nicer because then you walk in and there's only like two people that are working that room. Right. So and you can, can ask more questions. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about like bumping into some like random dude next to you. Like, so it is actually a, a fun way to shop. So yeah. I highly recommend checking them out. Um. So with these room sales, with the Chicago Toy Show in general, like way back in the day, back in the day, there used to be more doll vendors. Mm -hmm. More people selling dolls. They had a whole lot like room dedicated to right. doll vendors. Uh, and in past years, it's basically been like a handful of people who predominantly sell dolls. Right. So we need to get more of those, the doll collector people to be at a hotel. Mm-hmm. Because they were not there. <laughs> no, they, they weren't there. But I did make some sales, though. It was yeah, nice. Yeah, we definitely bought some stuff. Yeah. Um, a lot of like the car vendors were there. Right. Um, Cars, action figures, wrestlers. Robots. Like... Shogun uh, yeah, like, yeah. robots. Yes, great robots, so like Big Lou. So mm -hmm. robots, really yeah. cool ones and Shoguns. So if you're specifically a doll collector, there wasn't a lot there that you would have been like, oh, this is really cool. Um, but it's more for the person that's hunting for like a bit of everything. Yeah. 
Um, or if you're with your family and you're like, because we know some people go with their mm -hmm. family and like one person hunts for this, one person that hunts mm -hmm. for this. Uh, so that that would be a good audience for the rib sales. Right. It's interesting just to go there once, you know, if you, yeah. if you don't want to do it all the time. And the, the Chicago show has, what, three? Three days. Three times. So you could go there at three different times. Yeah. It's like April, July, and October or something. Yeah, and see what somebody has or call them ahead and have yeah. their card and say, hey, I'm coming to the hotel and I want to get something right then and there. Yeah. So because you're getting that first shot at it. Exactly, right. You And if you have mm -hmm. trades and stuff, it's easier yeah. to be like, hey, I have this thing. Do you want to trade for it? So definitely a more personal shopping experience. Right. It's not like me. I, I don't trade anything. No. <laughs> I keep. No. <laughs> but, but if you were, and like my husband always goes, oh, well, you know, you just sell it and no. get it. No. No. We so keep. This is kind of like a... This is just going to be on the room free. shopping. We have not yet gone to the toy show. No, that is tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Right. Um, so today, this is just about room shopping. Right. And as it has happened, and I did not buy anything in the room shopping, so this is mostly my mother's stuff. But she lucked out and found some some cool stuff. You know, when you go get over sixty, you might be able to find a lot more things you like. I might. Well, it's just <laughs> you know, they a, some guys had ponies, but they weren't like good ponies. Wow. Uh, you know, some people, no one had Barbie, uh, so there was a lot of stuff that, yeah. like, I would look out for at the shows, but they just was not there. No, but I did better on the second day than the first anyway, so it's okay. So you want me to do on the first day? Yeah. Okay, we went in there. There weren't a lot of people there, but I did find something I liked. Let me get the switch. Obviously, this is B9, and this is, it was called the Retro Edition. I've never heard of that one, but I needed a B9 just to have a B9. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. It's, it's, they made it like that. You, you know, the arms come out, mm -hmm. the lights, it's really cool in the dark. Um, he doesn't wield that really well, but he is just so cool looking. So um, I ended up getting him, and I was very happy with my purchase. Yeah. My, my mom really likes robots and I do like things robots. like that. So I saw this one and I was like, oh, she'll, she'll like that. <laughs> so that was all we got on that day. And then we had a crying baby. Yes. A baby that was hungry and crying and did not want to be in the stroller. But and then we were like, well, we'll just come back Friday because maybe more people, if they have a day job, can only take off a Friday. So they'll right. be in the hotel Friday and not Thursday. So next time I would say, like, Probably just you can wait till Friday mm -hmm. to go as opposed to Thursday unless you're really close to the area. Well, and if you go in with a stroller because you're coming as a family, a lot of the rooms, it, the layout is where you can't get through the so aisle. So narrow. Some are really big and some aren't. So yeah. you're going to have to pass that stroller back and forth saying, yes. I'll be in the hallway, you look. Yeah, so the rooms are actually really narrow. So if, even if you have like, if you're someone that carries around one of those like, scooter not mm -hmm. scooters but yeah. um yeah, like a scooter. basket or whatever then that might not fit so right. just be warned the rooms are very tight and some have hot tubs in them so that's <laughs> which are space. fun to see so the next day on friday we the went next back. day yes we had some errands to do and we ended up in that area well we kinda... like let's drive an hour this way <laughs> it's totally on the way well the gps <laughs> didn't you know it said it was an hour but we went anyway so we went back um, parking was a little hard to find. It's like a big square and uh, the, all the toy people, they have those big mm -hmm. giant van things. There's enough for the people that are staying at the hotel, yeah. but maybe not for people who are like just hanging out there. I know, they should have like a sign saying alternate parking, you can go over this way yeah. or that way. So you might have to go in the back. Yeah, which we did. We went in the, in the back uh, and um, that's where we found it found out also third floor was not really doing anything so we went and said okay let's start with the third floor mm -hmm. and there was nothing so we took the elevator for no yeah. reason at all um, but we came into two stores that were actually there on the first day that we were there but they weren't open right. or they were still setting up because mm -hmm. they had their door closed so um, this one is inner space toys I thought it was funny when some places they said oh we have we have things that women would like. <laughs> I was like, well, 
there's a lot of things I like, not just female stuff, you know? Um, and really, they'd have, like, one thing. One thing, yeah. Uh, that I've would got, be, a gen, like, known as a girl's toy. It's a girl toy. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, that's true. Um, it is really a boy yeah. um, action show. Action figure. It's a boy show, especially at the mm -hmm. hotel. Very male. Cars, action figures, lots of 80s stuff. If you're an 80s collector, they like key man and things like that. I think as far as women, um, I saw maybe... Three, four, five, us, F, four, five. Yeah. So maybe at the most five people, five <laughs> women that were either selling in a room or going through the room looking for stuff. Yeah. So it is a guy's game in there. Yeah. But um, this one, Tim from Inner Space Toys, was nice enough. He did have some girl toys. Um, and he gave me really good prices. Thank you so much. Um, so I got some kiddles. Yay. Yay! And those are kind of hard to find at the show sometimes. They're very expensive to find yeah. at the show, so I'm really glad that I was able to find some. Um, and he caught me when I had some money, so it was good. Um, I have Wendy Fiddle, which I do have Wendy Fiddle, but she doesn't have her goggles, and this one is complete, Ooh. except for the except for the little booklet, which is okay. She's so cute. Uh, little Middle Muffet. Where are you? Little Middle Muffet. I do have her, but she's naked, so this one is complete with the little storybook, and Aww. she had her shoes, and she has her spoon. Spider. And her spoon. And her spoon. Her spoon for her curds and whey, Aww. which is really cute. Then there was Little Red Riding Hiddle, which is also complete. She's got her, her wolf, she's got Ooh. her booklet, she had shoes on, she's got high color. It's really nice. So these are really cool. I'm so excited because I kind of rearranged, I had to rearrange some dolls because Lena gets into them. So I have to kind of safeguard some of them. So I thought I want my kiddos all together instead of separated all over the place. So these guys are, get to go into the little houses. I'm so excited. And uh, it's one of those things that would be harder to look at while you're actually at the show because of people and crowd and like right. the lighting or if they're out in an outdoor room and it's horrible outside like so this is something that's much easier to find well they have those those long those those square boxes with the glass on top yeah. where they pile everything on the inside and usually a lot of the guy vendors i notice don't put prices on their items at all which is another hard thing because then you're trying to get this guy and this guy's out talking to that guy all the way down mm -hmm. at the other end going hey what will you go for this and it's you know, it gets very confusing. Yeah. But especially when it's got those drawers, we can't get to them because there's so many people looking mm -hmm. at the Star Wars and the the yeah, wrestlers and everybody items. else. Yeah. yeah, and the big giant boxes. So this was much easier to do. Um, I got some animal kittles, um, mm -hmm. Lucky Lion and Miss Mouse, and then there's the Santa. I do have the Santa from when I was little, but this one is in a whole lot better condition. They're so cute. And then I had um, the holiday kittles. Is it so you have Santa, and then I've got the one with the bunny, the bunny that goes part of the holiday kittles. And then there's three little tiny jewelry ones of the, with the bracelets. And these are weird. I think they like started to change once they got to this point. They didn't always give them names. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at my little booklet, and some are just saying this one's a heart bracelet. <laughs> and this one's a heart necklace, but I don't have any of these. I do have a, a locket kittle, but I only have one of those, so, or maybe two. But these are cute, and these things are usually really high because Cupid's been looking them mm -hmm. up, and because she they're small. They're like that little, and she's like, "Why are they so expensive?" <laughs> She's so cute though. Yeah. I mean, I get people are like, oh, they're so small and we have all the pieces, so we must charge high prices for it. But also, they're like this big. They're that big and then I want to have them. <laughs> they're so cute though. And this gentleman had the uh, the Shoguns and he had, okay, he had um, the Lou. He has Lou. Yes, right? yeah, so yeah. Big Lou. Big Lou, which is so really cool looking when you mm -hmm. see it in person. Uh, he doesn't work on all his parts, but he's still a really good chunk of money, but it is so cool. And then they had the Shogun Warriors and they had the Godzilla Shogun, when I want a Godzilla mm -hmm. Shogun. And I've got a, a Shogun that's broken, but I've never been able to figure out a way to put them back together yeah, again. Yeah, and I've looked up the Godzilla ones for a couple of years now, and like, there might be some that are cheap, but that's because they're missing their tail and they're missing their hand and like they're missing all these things. So you can't find one that's in good shape that has like its tail and its 
fist. It's hard to find. But but Big Lou, he is Big Lou's so really, really cool. neat. He's a robot, and I love robots. They're really cool. So that's what we got that was from the Tim. Kittle that was, that was just Tim. Kittle calls. Sorry, anybody who was looking for Kittles from Tim. Sorry, I got most of them. <laughs> <laughs> and she may look, go back and look for more from me. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> see if I can find them. You'll help me look for them. Yes. Um, and then we had um, okay this. I call this like a creme de la creme. To me, it, it's cool. Maybe mm -hmm. to no one else, it, it's I'll not know cool. It it's so cool. This was on a shelf in a different room. Another room that had been open, but they weren't open on the day first day we went there. I'm like, wow, this is heavy. It's like, oh, this is so cute. It must be something that they recently made for Beanie and Cecil. And I'm like, so is this like new somebody made? And they're like, no, this is vintage. I'm like, really? It is adorable. It's a little girl's luggage case. And when you open it, it's in really good shape. Mm -hmm. If you open it, well, we've got this. This is As Seen on TV, Beanie and Cecil, Kitty Luggage, luggage and Accessories, Washable, Vinyl, Durable, Practical. Another line from Standard Products. But in here, there are more little boxes. And I guess there's a bigger one of this one that girls use for their lunch. Oh, cute. So this one just has the... the uh, Beanie and Cecil on the front of it. Mm -hmm. A different one than the, these guys do. This one is a copy of the big one. And then you can put all your treasures in there. And it's in really good condition. And the illustrations are beautiful on yeah, here. Yeah, the coloring is really good. The graphics. Um, and even the metal work. Like, this it's is not, not that bad, bad at all. We've had worse. Yeah. And it reminds me of that skipper case that we always mm -hmm. look for for you. The one that's shaped like this. The um, the nurses one. Oh, okay. That the one nurses too, yeah. one. That that one's really expensive, mm -hmm. um, and it was kind of funny because um, the guy that had the booth, he wanted to start to get ready and put all his stuff in boxes and get it ready so he could take it to Kane County for the next day and they'd all all be you know sorted out. Um, but he, people kept calling him on the phone and people kept coming in his room. He was getting annoyed. He but was, yeah. <laughs> I know I went in his room after my mom bought all this stuff. She was like, I just want to close my room to someone on the phone. He was talking, <laughs> or the roommate or whatever. He was like, I just want to close the room so I can box stuff up. But people keep shopping. He goes, he didn't really <laughs> want to sell it. But he had it up there. And I said, well, how much is it? And then he told me. And I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. You don't really see a lot of good condition beating Cecil Beanie and stuff. Cecil, no. And he had some of the, the little uh, puppet gloves and stuff that Mattel made mm -hmm. and all these other companies and he had a lot of really nice stuff but they were all in their boxes and I wanted to open up every box and look at it yeah he had some good stuff but because this has a tag and everything it's just like wow somebody must have really wanted just this display it's mm -hmm. so cool and Beanie and Cecil was one of the first cartoons I ever watched when I was little so that it has a, a place in my heart um, this one I would not pull yeah but it, once it's I put the cream on it. If I put yeah, the cream on that. it, it'll be fine. But this is so cute, and this is a boat. I mean, who wouldn't love Beanie and Cecil? It's so cute. So this was more like a um, a rare thing for me that I would buy, and I think, wow, this is really cool. I'm not going to find it anywhere else. Yeah. So, and that was the end of my shopping experience. Right. Until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. Well, I have to see if the other kiddos are still there. Yeah. I mean, maybe tomorrow's video will be me saying I've spent lots of money or Yay! very little money and brought home a lot of things. So we'll see. I'm sure my mom is like, could that be your video? <laughs> um, so yeah, I think this was a really good find. And these were like really well priced. He was super nice. And if you've never heard of Beanie and Cecil, you can go on YouTube and put Beanie and Cecil cartoons and some will come up. Um, it's always funny to look at the old cartoons that, I mean, I would have been mm -hmm. like four years old or something. And see the things that they would talk about that people nowadays would say, no, let's pick it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's fun. I mean, you got the bad guy. Here's the bad guy. And he's the good guy. Aw. And yeah, the Cecil, graphics are so good. And Cecil has got this, the sweetest little voice in the yeah. cartoon. So. And having seen a lot of cases, because it's, it's a Mattel product, so like they used SPP for all the Barbie cases. Mm -hmm. And you've, we've seen a lot of those, and sometimes the graphics are just so crummy. Yeah. But this is just so colorful and like perfect. It and is. It's, I mean, it's... 50 some years old at this point. 
It's old like me. So that is, I mean, it's in really good shape. There, there are very few it's rips or tears. Sixty years old. It's probably. Yeah. So yeah. Sixty. Not a lot of tears Sixty-two or maybe. No, you get the you you know the little tiny ones on the side, but yeah. that's what you're going to get on anything else, and you're going to get it probably ten times. I know. I've seen way worse. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to go to the show tomorrow, uh, depending on when you watch this video. Uh, and we will post a haul video for the actual toy show, but this was the haul video for the room shopping. The first time doing it. Yes, and I do think we should do it again. Yes, but they do they do need to find a way to bring some more of the women collectors that have things in, people that are in the area, or maybe that maybe give them a better price on the hotel. I don't know, it's to I bring them know. closer. I don't know what they're doing, but they did have one big office that was their office for mm -hmm. people to sign in and say they were there. Yeah, it would be nice just to have some of that other yeah. girl stuff represented. Um, but otherwise, like I feel like at the toy show, it is generally like you go to a booth that has a mix of stuff and you find right. exactly what you were looking for. Sometimes it's a husband yeah. and a wife and the hus the wife decides, okay, well, I'm going to come with you even though you're mm -hmm. the car collector and then she brings stuff that she she's interested but in. But I have to think, too, the, the few doll vendors that come, they can't all be local, like driving to the, the thing on Saturday and then no. going home. So why no. don't they stay at the hotel and set up their stuff? Maybe they're going to a different hotel. Maybe they're going to relatives' houses. Who knows? Because they should. If, if So any doll vendors... Who are watching, please room sale. Room <laughs> sale, yeah, because that was a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. And they, like we said, you can look at stuff so much more mm -hmm. clearly. Um, and you're not under the gun as much like, oh, I need to buy it now because there's 500 other people here who right. are going to buy it from me. Like, I mean, we were in the minority mm -hmm. just because we're female with a baby, walking around with a baby. <laughs> yes. Although there was a nice man that gave Lena a puzzle. So yeah. if you're watching this video, thank you. It's a very fun puzzle. Yeah, it's cool. We took it all out and, uh, you know, put, it should be fun to put together. Yeah, it's like a kid's body, so you can put the shoe on mm -hmm. and put the hands on and a big giant one, something yeah. from the 60s. It's, it's like it's a really reversible cool. boy and yeah. girl on, on either side. You so. know, she'll like it a lot when she's just a little bit older. So if you're watching, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. But he had cool things, and then mm -hmm. there was a guy who was selling um, some books uh, that I think he must have published, self-published. Yes. Um, so they had Tonka. It was Tonka. It was Tonka. Tonka collectors' guides, yeah. um, car people, robot people. Robot, yeah. I think we really touched on like the things that were cowboys. Um, oh, and there was a really cool He-Man like ride on. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was like a bouncy. This was toy. there was a woman in the room, so it was her her trade. She did a trade, and yes. then she was trying to sell it, but it was in beautiful condition. It was mm -hmm. like the horsey, but with the battle um, cat, right? Hmm? Battle, battle cat. cat with battle cat on it, in beautiful condition. Yeah, it was so cool. Like it had we had, I don't even remember the price. That we should have, we would have brought it home. <laughs> it would have had been a lot lower than the price she was selling, but yeah. um, I, I think it was probably gone yesterday because I, it was something you don't see very yeah. often um, in nice condition. And then the um, the plastic, the other ones, the the little toys, the the wind up toys, like tin toys. Yeah, the tin toys. There were a couple tin toy people. Mm -hmm. They had really beautiful stuff. Yeah, they had really nice tin toys, and some were like character based, so like promotional mm -hmm. characters that were made into. Toys in oh yeah, those 40s were interesting. Or fifties. Yeah. Ah, so those were cool. And then some people had just like um, pictures on the wall that you would put that were related, toy related yeah. kind of things. They were really cool yeah. things. So some fun stuff. Definitely check it out if you're in the area. Um, the website has all the information on where the room sales are. The one we went to, and I think it's going to be the same for a while, was in Geneva at Comfort Inn. Uh, they do have a small elevator, so if you're on the third floor, it only allows two people in or one family yeah. in the elevator. I think that was just a, like a, a leftover role. from COVID. Mm -hmm. But, but I it is it was really funny. kind of small. Yeah, it says two people. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it is three floors. It's not a huge hotel, but uh, it's definitely worth going to. So if you're not far from Geneva and it continues mm -hmm. to be there, uh, definitely check it out. Yeah. So we will be back. Unless you have something else to say. No, I'm good. All right, we will be back in the next video with our Chicago Toy Show, show haul. Um, but please let us know what you thought of our room sale haul. Mm -hmm. Or if you've ever done the room sales, let us know what you found. Um, if you plan on checking them out next time, because we uh, we talked about them here in the video, let us know that too. Oh, it's and it's an anniversary year. Oh, yeah. It's, what's 50? the... 50? I think it's 50th. 50. 
Yeah. I think that's why they brought back the July show. Oh. Um, so yeah, it is the anniversary year. So we hope to see you at the Chicago Toy Show. Uh, say hi if you see us. Uh, we will have the baby because no one can ever babysit. <laughs> um, so if we look frazzled, that's why. There you go. <laughs> um, but otherwise, we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.